So there's another type of fistula known as the colovesical fistula. And the colovesical fistula is simply, uh, you can't be able to know what colo is. If you actually know, get to know what vesical is, then basically you have an understanding of what this type of fistula is already. Okay? So colo is basically what the sigmoid colon. Vesical is basically what the bladder. And the name for bladder is a vesical. So if there's an abnormal communication between the sigmoid colon and the bladder, that's what we call a colovesical fistula, all right? And this can lead to basically what several things, and those are the things we basically be looking at in this lecture. So look at this colovesical fistula under the causes, under the symptoms, under the treatments, under the surgical procedure, all right? So based on uh, definition, you see that the colovesical fistula is a type of fistula that occurs between the colon, which is the part of the large intestine, and the bladder, which is also known as what vesical. That's why they say colovesical, right? So it is an abnormal communication between these two organs, allowing urine, okay, and potentially stool to pass through the fistula. So the other urine is passing from the bladder back into the intestine, or it could be that our stool is passing from the intestine right into the bladder, okay? So what are the causes? It could be due to diverticulitis, it could be due to inflammatory bowel disease, it could be due to cancer, it could be due to trauma, it could be due to surgery, okay? What are the possible uh, symptoms? You'll be having pneumaturia, that you'll be passing gas in urine because those gas is teleporting from the intestines right into the bladder. You'll be having fecal urea, that you are passing stool in urine because stool is now teleporting from the large or small intestine, uh, the small, the large intestine at the sigmoid colon right into the bladder, okay? You'll be having recurrent urinary tract infections because those microorganisms are now porting from they are now porting from the intestines right into the bladder. They might have abdominal pain, you might have fever, you might have hematuria, that's blood in urine. Okay, so you see this is an x-ray. If you see all this, uh, you can see that there's a communication between the colon, which is this region, and the bladder, which is this region. Okay. So what are the possible treatments? You might do a surgery to repair the fistula. You might use antibiotics to treat all those infections that might be caused by bacteria, okay? Um, there's also management of underlying medical conditions. There's bowel preparation and nutrition support. There's rheological care to prevent what? Complications, right? So you see this is at the colovesical fistula, right? Communication between what? The colon and the sigmoid. Okay, there are the sigmoid colon and the bladder. Okay, then the surgical procedure may involve open surgery, laparoscopic surgery, robotic surgery, colonic resection, then bladder repair. Okay, so now the colovesical so, uh, fistula is a serious condition requiring prompt medical attention to prevent complications and also improve the quality of life. Okay. So a healthcare provider specialized in colorectal surgery, urology, or gastroenterology can provide individualized care and guidance. Okay, so that's the power of the colovesical fistula. All right, basically talking about the definition of causes, symptoms, treatments, and uh, procedure. So that's it, guys, and bye for now.